Hey guys, Troy here from Realmer, uh, along with uh, our new addition, Dune. And we got a really fun update about our van bill that we're currently, that's currently underway. Uh, we've got a long ways to go yet, but you're going to get a really, really in-depth sneak peek on what we've done so far and some of the products that we have um, kind of strategically selected because of how the, the whole out, uh, layout is, is kind of formulating. Um, and so we're going to give you a little bit of update on some of the things that we've already done, some of the things we're going to continue to do, and of course we'll give you a few more uh, videos along the way as we get closer to the finish line and get this thing on the road and out getting some trips on, under its belt and adventures with the family and kids and that's what it's all about. So let me give you a little bit of a, a look here of what we've done. Um, I'll start with the floor. The floor is always tricky in these vans. He, they, this one actually came with the subfloor um, that's a quarter inch thick, that's like the upgrade. And so we actually tore everything out. We built it up three quarters of an inch, put sound deadening, insulation, uh, hardboard insulation, and then actually put the subfloor back down and then use this really nice uh, slated, sl uh, slatted floor for the finished look. Uh, we also added, you can see here, we added um, L-Tracks pretty much everywhere. So you have one another under Dune there. Say hey buddy. He's my buddy. Uh, so we got one that goes all the way along here. So pretty much everywhere you want, you'll be able to do L-Track, including will be on the ceiling and on the, um, on the sideboards, uh, side walls too. Next, uh, what we did is we moved the seat back seven and a half inches. And we did that because one of the, th the things about this layout we wanted to retain is uh, seating five. So being able to seat five, we really wanted uh, the bench seat and each seat actually reclines individually here with uh, three levers and we wanted to retain that. But during the um, daily usage we wanted more space up here so you could put a couple coolers a lot of area up here to put stuff that's just kind of revolving um, kids can still walk through here um, these doors on this thing are actually really heavy so half the time our, our kids <laughs> walk around and get out one of the front doors because they can open and close them also we can literally put the dog mat up here dogs down and the kids have uh, enough leg room or they can bring a backpack uh, we also found uh, some really nice bags that slide underneath here for our three kids so they have their own stuff. So that was really part of the philosophy of what we're trying to build here um, to, to retain the seats five for daily use. Uh, we also uh, brought this step out and uh, I'm going to tell you about some of their more uh, exciting products but one of their awesome products from um, from the manufacturer, they came out with this step here, uh, Lost Highways. You gotta check them out. They have some really neat stuff. Um, I was gonna build my own, but when I saw what they offered, um, I just went with their product because it was better than what I would have built. Uh, it's really nice to have a cubby in here. You can still utilize the space that you gave up, but this space coming out really, really makes a big difference when you utilize this space in front of the bed when the door is closed. That's the biggest deal. And this is plenty of entry, entry uh, space for kids, adults. Um, next, I'm gonna just go right into the Lost Highway uh, product line that we're utilizing. Um, you can see the upper cabinets. Really, really nice finish on these things. They actually uh, open up and click open don't hit the ceiling or anything and they stay nice and open nice and sturdy and then you just kind of pull them back down and uh, it's got a matte gray finish I think they have a, a super light gray which is almost like a white a black and a gray like a medium gray here like this that they offer um, really really nice and of course we have I think they have 72 inch and these are I don't know like 40 54 inch, 55 inch, something like that. So we utilized two boxes uh, for the upper cabinets. Going to come back to this. And then we also utilized their 60 inch tall boxes. You can see the two here. And these are really, really awesome. 
Um, basically what happens here is you've got tons of storage. You have these side panels here that come off and then you've got these doors in front and in back. That's the extra battery you can see there, wheel well. So you have access to these, to this whole bottom area from both front and back and the side. Same with over here is the exact duplicate except for instead of having the storage compartment on top, they have three drawers, which is gonna be really awesome for like a coffee drawer, straps, you know, you name it, snacks, whatever you want. And so this is still storage underneath that you, traditionally a lot of people put their water, uh, we'll have some of that in there, or, you know, basically unsightly stuff that you want to like, traditionally put in an RV in like one of the compartments, like maybe from the end there, or access it from the side, that's like kind of bulky things that you don't want out all the time. Uh, this is their pedestal sink. So the way that it comes, they usually have a door here and they have a foot pump and the sink and I'm using utilizing a little bit differently I'm actually gonna have my fridge right here and a small sink on top and then this is gonna be in the onboard inside water will be you know probably it's really more for brushing teeth washing your face it's not for cooking and all that kind of stuff that's not our concept um, but you'll be able to kind of do that stuff. So once the doors are closed, you can kind of get ready for bed and go to, go to bed. Um, so that'll have some water storage, probably five to eight gallons on board just for like kind of daily weekender stuff. Um, and then there actually will be 10 gallons of on board, 10 to 15 gallons on board underneath where the spare tire went for hot shower. So, uh, one of the things we wanted to do is um, use some bamboo features. We really like the material. It's really, um, really nice um, finished edges and look. And um, just really think it elevates the adventure wagon we're building. So once actually this gets um, oiled like that, it'll really match the tones and really have a nice finished look. And you can see here on the ceiling, we've got our max air fan we have some of our stock lights so when you open the door those will still illuminate um, we'll also have house um, lights as well eventually and of course some l track and you can also see kind of some of the steps we've gone through once we strip strip the van down we put all of this uh, sound deadening mat everywhere and then that actually got um, complemented with this havelock wool which will get covered once we put the rest of the ceiling panel here and down. Um, we plan on doing flare splice flares on this van and we actually just got those in yesterday literally so that's one of the next projects and that'll allow you to sleep sideways on the van. That's going to be a really great feature so once we get those flares in we can finish this the wall paneling and I wanted to point this guy out. This is a Dickinson 9000 heater. It's a propane heater. You can see it goes up and there's a stack on top that goes through the, through the roof. And this is, I think, a really neat feature. Like if I actually step back here, when you open the door, it really is in person, a really neat feature piece that you see. And we really wanted to use that not only for the functionality of having the heater, but uh, the visual, um, I think it's, it's like a statement piece, um, but it's super functional and also it has a little fireplace in here. So when you light it up, you actually see the flame in here. And so it's kind of out of the way of where everybody's sleeping, but it has a really nice ambiance. So that's kind of a, something I haven't really seen many people do and, uh, wanted to do that. So stay tuned for a video on that. Um, taking to the outside, we still have rims, tires, lift, all that kind of stuff to, uh, to add in. But we've added our shore power here so we can actually recharge the batteries, which I'm gonna do a full video on the battery system that we have, not in this one. But as we're going around the exterior, we're starting to see some progress. We've got the Alvan accessories, we've got the Expedition tire rack and the B2 um, box and um, the rack 
we're going to put a couple one up um, bike racks up here which will be really nice to have all the time and then we're going to have our um, heat exchanger on the outside of propane so that'll be the exterior um, hot shower system and underneath where there is a cage the 10 to 15 gallon tank will go underneath replacing where the spare tire was so that we have outboard water hey buddy so as you can see it still looks pretty stock on the outside but we did add the rack and we were really really pleased with how this is shaping up we went with front runner for the rack really liked how sleek and smooth it looks you can see here and the way that they do this they actually put um, two pair two racks together to make one and it's a really nice finish um, we have a little flexibility with how far apart the racks are for how wide you, uh, how uh, long you want the rack to be and you can really customize how far forward you want the lights and we kind of think that this is a really nice look here in the front we also have our Wii Boost antenna which really boosts the signal really nicely and on the front we're actually going to be using a CA tuned uh, right here CA tuned front bumper and uh, I believe it's called the Hammerhead, and that's going to utilize more KC lights like we love. We love this uh, Pro 6 light bar, and we're going to have a, a couple lights down here. And then, of course, we have these lights up here. There'll be six of them. They go all the way around the exterior, which will be in the house battery. So when we, f when we turn that puppy on, the whole uh, three sides will be illuminated. And then, of course, we haven't figured out our... Uh, final awning solution but we'll have that and I'll give you a quick look from the back side and uh, I'll save the rest for later so as you can see there is still a ton to do but this is a, a longer video with a bigger update because we wanted we've done so much and it's really starting to look like something so we didn't want to leave you hanging too long you can see the battery system there I'm going to go into in-depth on that another time but this is what I was talking about how you have your storage compartment on both ends along with the side panels that come off so you really have flexibility of getting to your storage it's not going to get stuck and fitting stuff it's really nice like something that might not fit through here may fit through the side which is actually what happened with my battery is it was literally eighth of an inch uh, too high to fit through here but I was able to get in through the side so still have the doors to worry about the rest of the ceiling uh, wheels lift tires are coming next and uh, the flares are going to be going in soon and um, yeah so this is the big update we will be coming at you with some more videos kind of um, more product specifics so i'm going to go more in depth about the lost highways uh, products um, probably do a little bit more on the lighting in the rack a um, little bit more in depth on alvan um, once we do the wheels and tires we'll kind of do a little bit on that front bumper that's actually going to be a really cool um, update to show how awesome that thing is and kind of go over all the features that i have that has of course we're going to show this when i do that video we'll show the the this in bed form because this actually has panels that go in to make it a bed but we'll go over that later but the quality of this is really turning out the way we want it and that's like the biggest thing is all the partnerships that we have formed uh, we were really strategic with and really wanted to have the feeling of this is like a really elevated adventure wagon and it really is uh, turning out just like we wanted so uh, keep following us and watch for more updates they're going to start coming in more regularly because we're we've got a lot of stuff in the can a lot of videos photo that we're going to start releasing kind of showing you some of the processes some of the the end products and then of course once it's finished we're going to get her out on the road till later